Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to your favorite girl on the internet. That's me, by the way. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine Rosette, and today's video is going to be a throwback video. But before I explain what the throwback video means, I would ask that you would give this video a thumbs up if you like any part of this video. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I'm doing, and comment down below. Say hi, I say hi back. And now let's get into this throwback. So, since Pretty much a little bit before Christmas, I decided to not like vlog as consistently the weight loss journey, showing you guys like what I eat and the workouts that I'm doing. I kind of just allowed myself to eat what I want, not work out, spend time with my grandma, watch, you know, Star Wars, the Rebel show, <laughs> the animated show. And then I drove back to Colorado from Texas I'm currently in Colorado now. I just adjusted to being back into my apartment again, living life back in Colorado, getting myself kind of situated, unpacking. I have been working out a little bit, not as much. I would say the past couple weeks I've been a little bit more consistent, more consistent with walks and stuff like that. But yeah, I've definitely been working out. In terms of food, um, yeah, it's it's definitely been... Well, I'll show you kind of what I've gotten up to so you can see exactly what I ate this past month. Um, I mainly showed like, I didn't show every, every single thing that I ate and I didn't show every workout that I did, but I showed little snippets here and there. So I'm gonna insert that now. Five families For real? down on one block wall. <laughs> For real? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost too easy. Check it out. done this thing before. Yours looks so good, Grandma. Just I, you know. <laughs> Kevin! Kevin! Just the knowledge I, we see I mean, they, I don't think you could eat those. The mm. only I'm not around. eating, but just I wanted... time for I don't think there can be. The answers to our questions. <laughs> So these are ours. Smile. Smile. Let me turn it around. Oh, yeah. This the, is it. Yeah, that's good. What was that? Smile. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> Smile longer so I can grab a screenshot. Uh, uh, cheese, 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 cheese. Cheese. Yeah, we did it. We did it, Jasmine. They came out really good. Look at that. You can't eat these things, right? You can. Really? <laughs> I don't think so. I thought this was. They're they're. You can eat them, but you know I'm not gonna eat mine. I'm not touching this. Baby. We can keep it as decoration. Yeah, we can keep it. This brings ants. <laughs> Rex. Yeah, ants will so, be coming in here for this gingerbread. Well, we did it. So we gotta put it somewhere. Put it on one of the tables. Uh huh. A table like this. Yeah. And then they about it, you know, somewhere near the, the tree and leave it there for a couple days. And yep, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, we're good. Oh, right. And chopper. Yeah, I think so too. The, the thing he didn't peel his skin. What are you watching? How, how he does his sweet potato pie. Make sure you leave it a little open for some of the air to escape. And let this simmer for one hour and 20 minutes. Oh, that's a long time. About one hour and 20 minutes now. 
I actually think it would be easier to build a real couch. How many times am I gonna say what? Like there's anyone here to respond to me. It makes me nervous every time I pull on it and something pops off. Pop off, wig, go in. Ah! I'm having a heart attack. Eating saltines because I am unwell. <laughs> a couple days before I leave to go back to freaking Colorado. I've been unwell the past couple days. It has sucked. Truly. Food poisoning. Snub. French fries because they're they're huge. They're massive. Yeah, and it's I've always liked their French fries. Mm. No one talks about this, but paying your bills. This is one of the only things I kind of enjoy as an adult. My face is dusty. And you too. I don't know why. <laughs> I'm huge. Looking like this. To get my hair done. I gotta fix my bed. <laughs> my bed needs fixing. Yeah, it does. Can you go up to the light? <laughs> yeah, there you go. So you can see the whole thing. Look at the front. Go back. Put your head down. Down. Not up. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you when see? you want to make a big play, when you want to help your team, you just overextend. Fajoko has two penalties now. Turn around. Right. Curtis Blackwell, the offensive captain, tackles yeah. it. He did it. He see. And yeah. I did it earlier. He did it that time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 You know what I want to do? I want to um, for the variant. What do you call it? In Colorado and California put as the a rubber band in mine, you know, cut, I mean, part it and put the rubber band in it. And you know the one that you had before? Yeah. Get that one and then cut it short. You know? So it'd be curly, curly, curly. Okay. That could be nice. Yeah, I think that could be nice. That's a very difficult thing to tell people. Across the U.S., hospitals here. scrambling. You think in Alabama, a holiday, right? shortages. If you yeah, <laughs> literally, <laughs> when this thing is in front of my face, you can't see nothing. Wow. The style is very different, but I like it. It's very thick. And it's soft, too. No. I mean, it says it's lightweight, but it's, like, really lightweight. Yeah, I can't feel it. It just, you know, it's very bouncy, too. It also feels very soft. <laughs> you look so upset. Look at you. Oh, and then there's explosions in the background. Wait, here, you can do that too, you know? Here. Okay. It doesn't, it's not stringy, you know? Yeah. That moose kept it in place. Wow. See? So this now, is huge. It is huge. But I like it, it looks good. Yeah. Looks really nice. Whew. I'm glad this is done. Girl. Wow. 
This is too much hair. <laughs> oh, wow. What the fuck? Yeah. Got some wine in the cup. What? Oh, that's Italian sausage, right? Yeah. So you can't have any of this. Pineapple. Spinach. Mushroom. Yep. Sausage. Ion Television. We're having our 13 grapes, one for each year, and then just an extra one, you know. For each year? For each month. Uh, month. <laughs> okay, these are clean. Mm -hmm. Eating all the good food. This looks so yummy. Mm -hmm. I'm so happy. And I'm exporting a video going live tonight, and the news is showing people lighting a dumpster on fire to represent 2020. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy town. Ooh, we still didn't do the holiday house. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that before I leave tomorrow. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> look up. Take a deep breath and then one more, okay? All right. <sighs> Quick. Oh, so you're gonna do a holiday to get. Okay. Have a good day, Ashley. Thank you, you too. Bye. Thank you for, you know. You know worries. <laughs> I'm gonna show you what I bought from um, what do you call it from Target for my shower because I see you have it so I said <laughs> it too and see if that really would help my skin black and white I'm up in the clouds when it's pouring rain ain't never coming down unless you call my name yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when it's pouring rain. Ain't never the same naked turtleneck. She's wearing black and white heels, over heels, so I'm gonna wear some type of black and white shoe on the look. And then she's wearing a statement bag, so I'll just add whatever bag, maybe this one. And I also had some Chick-fil-A earlier with a chocolate French brownie. Loving life. So yeah, you guys saw like I had ice cream, pizza, chocolate, Chick-fil-A. I ate out so much this past month and a half or month or so. And 
yeah, it was really good. And I feel like it really helped me to have a healthier relationship with food because last year I just, I tried too hard to really constrict myself and it just kept backfiring and I gained a lot of weight back. So I weighed myself at the beginning of the year, January 1st, got on that scale to see how I'm starting the year. And it was at 229. I got down in 2021, I got down to 223 while eating pizza, ice cream, Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, eating out, like got pork katsu curry, which is like my favorite, by the way. And I'm currently eating ice cream now from not a moo, the strawberry cheesecake one having, you know, a little bit, not a lot, as you can see. Mm. But yeah, I'm eating ice cream and I currently just bought more chocolate because I went to Whole Foods just now to get some more core bars because I love core bars. And I saw the ice cream and I was like, you know what? I'm going to challenge myself instead of having <laughs> challenge myself with ice cream instead of having flavors that I know I love. I'm going to try different flavors that I haven't had before. And I also thought going forward, I love Chick-fil-A and... I love getting foods from places that I normally get food from, but I need to kind of expand my horizons. Like there's a place called Cane's. Um, they sell chicken. I definitely want to try food from them. There's just a bunch of other restaurants. So I'm just like, okay, when I want to have something different, instead of kind of going with my go-tos, I need to expand my fast food horizons and get something a little bit different. So that's what I'm going to kind of do but I feel like just not being super strict with myself and allowing myself to eat food and have food when I want it has been like the healthiest thing for me and has helped me get back to having a healthier relationship with food and fitness and being on a weight loss journey I still am doing that I still want to lose weight I still have a desire to lose weight it's just I'm not being as strict about it anymore in terms of the food that I eat. I'm still trying to work out. I'm trying to be consistent with that. I definitely want to, there's still goals that I have in terms of wanting to do push-ups and pull-ups and, you know, pistol squats and stuff like that. And the weight will come down. I mean, clearly I've lost six pounds this past month and we're only one month in. Currently it's the end of January. We're only one month into 2021 and I've lost six pounds. And I am just very excited for where I currently am at and the fact that I don't have this pressure on myself to eat super strict, not have any ice cream or sugar or whatever for a month straight. Like I'm no longer doing that. That is just not healthy. And I feel like because I've had this experience of not putting pressure on myself and just being like, you know what? I started the way the year at 229 and okay and I am kind of just like you know what if I lose weight one week I lose weight one week and if I don't lose any weight one week I don't lose any and if I gain weight I gain weight and I just have to let it go and I feel like something just really clicked for me to let it go because I've been able to lose weight while eating literally whatever I want. Now, granted, I still have moderation. I'm not eating ice cream every single day, but I am eating it most days of the week. I am having chocolate or at least something sweet almost every single day, whether that is chocolate, a couple bars, like little pieces of chocolate from a bar, or I am having ice cream or I am getting a sweet treat from you know uh, a fast food restaurant along with my meal like I'm still eating in moderation and I'm not overeating I'm kind of eating until I feel full and I feel like that has just been helpful and helping me be like a little bit more in tune with my body and and what my body needs now something that I have realized because I am getting older is that I need vegetables on a daily basis like my body does not function well if I do not have vegetables and I am and if I don't drink enough water like I have to drink a lot of water 
um, in order for my body to function properly. So I need protein, I need vegetables, and I need water. And so that is something that I am just trying to focus on is that I'm getting the ingredients, the nutrients that I need. But if I want to have some sweets, I have some sweets, obviously in moderation because I want to be cognizant of my sugar intake. Um, which is why I'm not eating sweets every day. I'm also not eating a pint of ice cream every single day. It's kind of just like a little bit. Like, honestly, this is all that I have had, which is a good amount, I would say. And that's probably all I'm going to have. Um, just to kind of allow myself to, like, satiate the, the craving that I have instead of denying myself and being like, okay, you can only have it one day a week and do this. It literally makes me go crazy restricting myself. And so that is something that I'm no longer doing on this weight loss journey is restricting myself. I'm going to eat food that I want to eat. And if I gain, you know, the weight back, I gain the weight back. But I've lost weight because I've learned to just have that moderation this past month or so, however long it's been. It's probably been like six, seven weeks or something. Um, but yeah, I've learned to just have moderation and not put a ton of pressure on myself. That's a lie. It has not been six or seven weeks. It's probably been a month, like maybe four, four to five weeks. I'm definitely exaggerating that it's been six or seven weeks. It has not. Um, but anyways, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm currently at. I started the year at 229. That is what I weighed. And then I got down to 223 pounds. So I've lost six pounds so far in the year 2021, which means I'm basically starting over and that is okay. But I finally have a healthier relationship with food and my weight loss journey. And I am excited to be on this journey and kind of start again because Last year was rough. I got down to 200 pounds um, in like June, May, June area. And then from like August on, just gained all that weight back. I mean, I went down and I went up as I fluctuate like we all do, but it was really tough and I needed something to control and I controlled it in a way that just was not healthy for me. And just letting go and not restricting myself anymore has just been the most freeing thing. So I'm excited to get back into doing the weekly vlogs um, in like real time. <laughs> At least that's also why I did a little bit of a break was because I was just too far ahead and needed to catch up on editing vlogs. So you guys have seen that. I've definitely been more consistent there. Um, they're coming you know, a little bit more consistently, sometimes twice a week, sometimes once a week. It kind of just depends on the time that I have to edit because, yeah, I, I have projects and other work that I'm doing um, besides YouTube. So, yeah. But anyways, I appreciate all of you guys that are on this journey with me. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing, for being a part of this little community that we have here on YouTube. It is small but mighty, so I'm very, very appreciative. Um, again, if you like any part of this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can keep up to date with me and all things that I am doing and comment down below. Also follow me on Instagram. I post daily, whether that is on my feed or on my stories. I'm very active on Instagram. So if you wanna keep up with me in real time, definitely check out my Instagram and follow me there. Um, don't forget to stay kind, stay true, and stay laughing, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! I'm not sure of what I see, Cupid, don't f*** with me. Are you telling me this is a sign? She's looking in my eyes, and I don't see no other guys. Are you telling me this is a sign?